Uh, Mr. Singh, thanks so much for being with us here today. Thank you, my honor to be here. Uh, it's easy to point to all of the big promises that have been broken by the Liberals over the past five, six years, whether it be clean water, the MMIWG inquiry's recommendations, or fighting First Nations kids in court. But how would the NDP address these issues that uh, have really been going on for decades? Well, first off, we would immediately stop the fight against kids in court. These are kids that were discriminated against by the federal government, by the Canadian government. And the Canadian Human Rights Tribunal found that they were both willfully and recklessly discriminated against. Despite that ruling, Justin Trudeau is fighting them in court. We would stop that court battle right away. We'd send an immediate notification to the lawyers to stop that case and we would settle and we would fall through with the ruling of the Human Rights Tribunal. This is about respect and dignity and what, what worse way of showing respect than to say we're not going to listen to the Human Rights Tribunal and we're going to fight kids in court. So we wouldn't do that. We would make sure that we put the resources necessary to clean drinking water immediately, make sure it's done. And we know that we're in a country that, is, that has technology and the resources to make this happen. We would get it done. And it's, it's shameful, frankly, that the Liberals promised to clean drinking water within six years and haven't done it, and that they promised the reconciliation was important, but they're fighting these kids in court. Uh, we would change that. Uh, by last count, uh, the party, the NDP, says uh, you're running 26 Indigenous candidates in this federal election. That's uh, nearly as many as you had in 2019. Uh, we know that the Indigenous vote has helped tip the scales for the Liberals in the last two elections. How do you move those votes to the NDP? Well, we've shown our commitment to, to justice for the first people of this land, and, and we're going to continue to show that. For me, this is a very personal thing, something that, that goes back to what my mom taught me, that we are all one and that we are all connected. And if people around us are hurting or suffering, we're also suffering. And the first people of this land have continued to face injustice, genocide and ongoing injustice. And we have to get this right. And so I'm committed to fighting to make sure there's clean drinking water, that there's good housing, that there's investments in health care. And I want to see it happen. We've seen in British Columbia where there is an NDP provincial government in uh, Ferry Creek and with the fight against the coastal gas link uh, pipeline, the militarized police response and the way that the, the provincial NDP government has handled these types of issues. Do you have any concern that uh, that will hurt your party's chances in BC and potentially other places? Well, I'm deeply concerned about the RCMP's response. This is a, a police agency that is fully regulated by the federal government and there has certainly been disturbing, heavy-handed tactics used, and I condemn those. Uh, that, is not, that is not how uh, these type of uh, disputes should be resolved with that type of violence. It is completely uh, wrong, and what we said, there needs to be a review of use of force policies at the federal level. We need to make sure that there is a focus on de-escalation, and these are demands that we've asked for a long time now, and Justin Trudeau has ignored them. And so this is, this is the ongoing result of a, of a prime minister that continues to ignore the real problems that are going on and, and does not bring in the changes needed. We're only uh, on week two here of this election, but it sure feels like there's a lot of hate so far in this campaign, whether it be online or even with the people at events. We know so many of the issues Indigenous people face come back to systemic racism, whether it's the justice system, health care, all forms of institutional racism. We know that you too have faced that discrimination. How does this country move beyond that? One, we have, we have to acknowledge it. Uh, systemic racism is real and it takes lives. We see it in the justice system with indigenous people and racialized people making up far more of the population uh, being disproportionately represented. And we see it in the fact that clean drinking water is being denied. This would never happen uh, an issue around clean drinking water would never happen in a city like Winnipeg, where we are today, or in any large city around Canada. And the fact that Indigenous communities still don't have clean drinking water is a very stark reminder of systemic racism. We see it in healthcare outcomes, and I think about Joy Shishashawan, who pleaded with people to get care and, and died while she was streaming live on Facebook. I mean, this is, this is the real impact of discrimination. So we've got to acknowledge that it's real and then commit to fighting it. When it comes to the things that we can deal with in the justice system and the healthcare system, we need to make it really clear there is no place for this type of discrimination. And we need to find better ways to track it so we can identify where it happens, so better, better data around collecting where discrimination is happening and how we can fight it. And, and we really need to look at some of the other forms of, of discrimination based on online hate. 
and how online hate is radicalizing people and we've got to tackle that. These are just some of the things we can do, but really it's, it's the commitment to tackling discrimination and hate and it's something that I, I want to tackle. Uh, we know we, a lot of uh, indigenous people are on the fence whether to vote or not even or, or where to vote, put their vote. Uh, what do you say to those out there who may be on the uh, fence right now? I would encourage everyone to get out and vote. It, it is easy to do. You can do an online ballot, you can vote in person, you can vote in advance. Whatever you choose, find a plan, make a plan, have a buddy, a friend, so you can make sure you get it done. You know, in all, all good things in life, we have a buddy with us, so bring a buddy along and make sure you vote. It is so vital and crucial to have a say. And ideally, I'd love for you to vote for New Democrats, but vote for sure because you can make a difference in the way our country is shaped coming out of this pandemic and the way we actually put in place real justice for people. Jagmeet Singh, we'll have to leave it there, but uh, do appreciate you taking some time to come in here today. My honor. Thanks so much.